now polling. What is polling doing? Getting him where he wants to go. Okay. So that tight sensation around the neck means that's how I get where I'm going. It's normal. What I want to teach him is as soon as this leash goes from loose to tight, correction comes in. So the dog learns, don't let the leash get tight. Problem solved, folks, as far as being pulled. Are you ready to see how fast it, it happens? This is science. This isn't me wanting something more than him. This isn't me going to bully him or anything. I'm just going to, I got a tool on him. I'm going to set a rule. Rule is, and I'm going to keep it consistent. When this is loose, you don't feel anything. When this is tight, you get a correction. Let's see what it does for us. I know folks, it sounds like common sense, but you'd be surprised. How many people go 10, 12 years being pulled by the dog? Here we go, starting now. As soon as this gets tight, I'm gonna wait a millisecond so he feels that it's tight and then correct. Okay. And then as soon as he loosens it, there's no e-collar pressure. So there's e-collar pressure, no e-collar pressure. Got it? Let's go. Now look, much different than a few minutes ago, right? We're a minute in, guys. Two minutes of this stuff. 30 seconds, if you do it right. You just got to be consistent. That starts to get tight, tap. Good boy, good boy. Low number there, but you've seen his eyes come towards me. Good boy, good boy. I'm still at a 10. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, my boy. Yeah, you are. Friggins. Okay. Okay. Boy, break. All I'm asking for from him today is just to not pull me. That's it. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for a heel or anything. I'm just saying. Good boy. See, he's learning. That turned on really low. It turned on really low and started dialing up as he wasn't listening to it. Good boy. See, he's starting to pick up on what it means. He's starting to pick up that it's me. So imagine it like this. As soon as the leash is loose, imagine it around you, or around your arm, or around your neck. As soon as you feel it starting to tighten, if you back off from it, everything's good. But if you hang there for a second, you're gonna feel the e-collar pressure. And the longer you stay there, no. The longer you stay there with it tight, it's gonna slowly increase in intensity. That's the system that I'm setting in place for him so that he understands not to pull. And now you get a dog who doesn't pull very fast, guys. I've never seen it not work within 10, 15 minutes. The worst dog I ever had, I think it was 30 minutes of, of doing this, which is a long time. But guess what? 30 minutes out of years of pulling is nothing. Some dogs, 30 seconds. That's not even a joke. Dogs who pull for years. They get on that leash, they hit, they hit the end of the, the leash, our leash a couple of times and they're done pulling. So you, if your dog pulls you, you gotta step up to the plate and, make, and let them know, don't do that anymore. The easiest way to do that is the e-collar with this type of system. You can see it's fair. And it is a system, it's not random. I'm not just guessing when to do this. I know exactly when to do it because I know the system that I'm setting in place for him. So it's consistent and that's why he's picking up on it so easily and so stress-free. Inconsistency causes stress, okay, if it's not predictable. Good. So now I'm setting him up to hit the end to see how he responds. Are you gonna pull through it or are you gonna turn around? Good. So I started to put pressure on it, and if he, he's starting to tune into me saying, where, where are we going? Ah, wow, we're creating a different mindset. Good boy, good boy, the big, the big Roddy, you got the good boy. That's a good boy, that's a good boy, that's a good boy. All that is just seeing how he's gonna respond to my hands. 
Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Nice. Good. No, no e-collar there. Remember, this is the system. If he's following, he's keeping it loose, there is no correction. So that's what's the beauty of it, is it's, it's very fair. It allows him to be in control of whether or not he's getting a correction or not. Good boy. That's it. That's it. There you guys. What it, it ends up creating a dog who, who kind of sticks behind you. If you do it quick like I am here, and you let him go out, and you kind of turn, and then do one of these little tap and turn, we call them, where I'm letting pressure hit the leash, and then I'm tapping on the collar. It creates a dog who follows. And that's a beautiful thing to, to create while you're on the walk. Watch how his mind, he's just learning. Every rep, he's learning. See how he didn't go out as far that time? Watch what ends up happening. I still corrected because he went out in front. This is exactly what I did with the bulldog yesterday too because when we get close to the house, they want to start pulling.